Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel. In this tutorial we explain how to easily install and run Olama and large language models in Ubuntu Linux from the command line. So let's immediately start. For those of you who are not familiar with Olama and large language models, Olama is an interface for running large language models or LLMs in Windows, Linux and Mac computers. You can integrate Olama with a number of LLMs such as Llama 3.1, Gemma 2, Mistral Nemo, Mistral Large, etc. Furthermore, you can integrate Olama with Ragflow and create an advanced personal assistant and a chat assistant that can help you with your work, research or daily tasks. And I will explain this in my next tutorial, so consequently press the like and subscribe. Okay, let's start. The first step is to install Olama in Linux Ubuntu. But before we do that, we have to make sure that our computer allows for inbound connections on this port over here. To do that, click over here, then search for terminal, open a terminal, resize this window, and you need to execute this command. And then enter your password. Good. To install Olama in Linux Ubuntu, we need to execute this single command. That's it. Simple as this. And press enter. And now over here you need to wait maybe 5 or 10 seconds. So let's be patient over here. Not a big deal. This is super quick. And here it is. What is nice over here is that the llama automatically recognized my GPU. However, in your case, if you don't see this message over here, don't worry, you can still run Olama on your CPU. Now, we need to verify the installation of Olama. To do that, you need to open your web browser and in the search bar or in the bar, you need to execute this. You need to write localhost and this number. Over here, in your web browser, type this and press enter. And if you see Olama is running good, you have successfully installed Olama. Let's continue. Let's minimize this and let's see what is the next step. Next, we need to explain how to install and use large language models in Olama. To see a list of LLMs that can be used with Olama, we need to go to the official Olama website. And here it is. So I will copy it, I will go back to my web browser, and then over here in the new tab, I'm going to go to this website. Here it is. Over here you can see the list of models. You can see Llama 3.1, Gemma 2, Mistral Nemo, etc. Over here, due to the brevity, we are going to stick only to Llama 3.1. Llama 3.1 is a new state-of-the-art model from Meta available in several sizes. The first size is 8 billion, the second size is 70 billion, and the third size is 405 billion parameters. I'm going to use the smallest model. So over here you can select your model and you will see this command for running or better to say for installing and running Llama with this particular model. Now I'm not going to use this exact command however you can also use this exact command I'm just going to use this name of the model then I will go to back to my terminal and over here I'm going to just pull this model. That is I will write this Olama pool and the name of the model. Here's our model. That's it. And this will download the model. So click here and be patient. Now, I already downloaded this model several times on my computer, so it's kind of cached already. However, in your case, you're going to see the download progress and you will see that it's going to take around maybe three to four minutes to install everything. Once the model is downloaded, I can simply run this model by typing Olama run and the name of the model. Since we have only a single model, we can just type 
llama 3.1 and here it is voila now we can ask questions perfect so let's start with this message llama how are you let's see I'm functioning well thanks for asking is there anything I can help with yes how to make orange juice let's see a refreshing question haha <laughs> this is nice making orange juice is a simple process that requires just a few ingredients and some basic kitchen equipment here's a step-by-step -step guide here it is perfect it works very well okay I'm going to stop right now the execution of this model and let me ask for example this question how to exit let's see does it understand yes wow perfect you want to disconnect from our conversation close the chat window let's see the second option if you're in a web browser good wow we can even learn how to use good let's try to exit Olama by pressing ctrl C and we will obtain this message to exit we need to press ctrl D or buy for example let's type buy and we are out and you can see that we are back in the home folder good okay let's go back to our llama and llama and let's do this and let's see what are the other possibilities you can for example set the session variables you can show the model information you can load a session or a model you can clear session con context you can exit etc so let's see the model if we do this and you can do other things so you can do show info for example to see what do we have over here and here it is this is more information about the current model then let's go back and see what are the other options and as you can see we got out of the Olama so let's return back to Olama and let's do this and let's see for example show again and let's do this show license and over here you can see the complete license which is also very important so let's again see this and let's show again over here you can for example show system or show template or we can simply show model file let's see what will happen and here it is perfect and through this you can obtain more information about the model that you're currently running which is very important for more advanced users and finally let's learn how to exit llama well if I press ctrl C it will not work however I will get this message use ctrl plus D or buy to exit I will just type buy like this and here we are we are back to my home folder and to my terminal